Hey, what's up guys and welcome to WebPro's Daily Tech Tips. And in today's video, I'm looking to answer a question that I've been asked so many times in the comment section, on Twitter, in my email, everywhere. And the question is, how do I change my Gmail address? Now, the simple answer is, you can't, you can't do it. Because your Gmail address is your Google account's unique identifier and you simply can't change it. You can change your Google account name, but the Gmail address is unchangeable. But, but, before you close that tab, if you really, really want to change your Gmail address, if your Gmail address is so embarrassing and you just have to change it, you can't continue with it. There's one thing you can do, you can create a new email account. So just go to Gmail and create a new account and make sure in the username section you put the Gmail address that you want to be using from now henceforth. Now, simply creating a new email address sounds like the easiest thing to do, but that's only if you don't have a wide network of friends or acquaintances or workmates who already have your current email address and they're sending emails to that address. If you don't have many people using that address, you can simply change it to whatever you want to by creating a new Gmail account. But if you have a big you know, network of friends and acquaintances and workmates and business associates who already have your email address and they're sending emails to that address, then you can create a new email address but you need a few extra steps. So step number two after creating a Gmail account is forwarding all your emails to your new email account. Now Gmail allows you to automatically forward all emails from one email account to another. So all you need to do is log into your old Gmail account or your current Gmail account and then set up forwarding to the email address you've just created. So all emails coming to that address will be automatically forwarded to your new Gmail address. So you'd be receiving your emails as usual from your new email address. So that's one thing to do. There's also another link in the description below with those instructions. Step number three is creating an alias for your current Gmail account or for your old Gmail account. An alias is a false name used to conceal one's identity or an assumed name. So Gmail allows its users to send emails assuming a different identity. For instance, you can log into your old Gmail account, the one you want to change, and create an alias as your new Gmail account. So anytime you send or reply an email from your old Gmail account, the people receiving that email will think it's coming from your new email account. So that's important to make people you email frequently start getting used to your new Gmail address. The full tutorial for creating an alias for Gmail is down in the description. Step number four is transfer your contacts. So your new Gmail account is your new base, is your new operating Gmail address. So you want to transfer all your contacts from your old Gmail account into your new Gmail account. And you can do that without any software or third parties. Gmail allows you to do that. And so you can do that. And you can also transfer even the emails if you want to from your old Gmail account into your new Gmail account. So you can do that easily using Gmail. And you can also find out how to do that in the link in the description below. So number five, and lastly, since you have all your contacts in your new Gmail account, you can, and, and this is not very important, but it's, it helps, you can send an email to your contacts, the ones you care about, or even all your contacts if you want to, and tell them that you've moved your email address to this new address. So you can send that email from your new address because you have all the contacts, and just, you know, send a simple message and let them know that you've changed your email address. So that's, that's just an extra thing. So those five steps are the closest thing you'll come to being able to change your Gmail address. There's no other way to do it. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. But uh, until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.